Hi YouTube, this is 133 MHz and today I'm going to show you a nifty little trick with these Japanese video gaming systems. Uh, if you own one of these, you may already know that uh, channels 1 and 2 on the Japanese system correspond to channel 95 and 96 on the US system. Uh, but what you may not know is that Japanese channels 1 and 2 fall right into the US FM radio band. So what does this mean? This means that you can you can listen to your Famicom's audio signal on an FM radio. So let's try that out. You need a Japanese gaming system like the Famicom or the Nintendo Super Famicom, a, an old FM radio, and a simple RCA video cable. Doesn't matter. You can uh, you can also use the NES RF cable. I have Star Soldier loaded in here. Let's turn this on. The TV is on mute so you can listen to the radio. So you have to connect your RCA cable to the RF outboard on the Famicom. Set it to channel 1. I'm going to I'm going to loop the other end of the RCA cable on the radio antenna like this. And one or two turns, okay. I'm going to turn on the radio and tune it around 96 megahertz. Pretty neat, huh? As I hold the wire closer to the antenna, it gets louder. This also works with the Nintendo Super Famicom, as I'm going to show you now. Uh, it's the same setup, really. Uh, the RCA cable plugged into the RF outboard. Uh, a couple of turns of the other end of the wire into the radio antenna. I have it hooked up to the TV, but it's mute, so you can hear the radio. The game is Sandora no Daivoken. And Basically, it's the same thing. You set it to channel 1 and dial the radio into 96 megahertz approximately. If you're using channel 2, you have to tune your radio into uh, 101 megahertz uh, approximately. And let's turn up the volume. In this case, my Super Famicom is a little weak in the signal because you can hear a talk radio show on the background. Uh, I have no control over that. So let's listen. Es importante eso como para no tener una relación con el 
uno nunca transaría. Dale la mano, sale. Y siempre, a ver, a ver si te la veo por acá. Ok, cuatro. Cuatro, 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 cinco, seis, cuatro. Se puede decir que tres más, todo eso, pues no son necesarios. No, eso. Y muy, muy gratis, nos agradó a todos los que nos puso para adelante. Para salir, todo lo contrario. Sabiendo que yo soy sobrante, pero hay varias cosas que voy a hacer. Remember, you can also use the standard NES or Super NES RF switch and the only thing you have to do is touch the, the center pin of the thing that goes into the TV, into the radio antenna to get the signal. Uh, so, what do you think? Uh, leave a comment or a response. And uh, I hope you liked it. I'll probably put up more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.